Hi, and welcome to Tiger Art. Today we're going to be continuing our pop art project. Pop art is a style of art that uses famous icons from TVs, movies, music, and products that everybody would recognize. So things that are part of what we call pop culture. In this project, we were inspired by an artist named Andy Warhol. Now, Andy Warhol's paint, er, prints and um, pictures are of famous people and things. So we were looking at specifically his flower prints and trying to create something that reminds us of that. So we made some flowers out of paper. Today we're gonna put it all together and finish it. But before we get started on all that, I wanted to share a story with you. If you were in class with me every day, I would be reading you stories more often to remind you of what art is really all about. And it's about having fun and being creative. It's not about stressing out about small details. Sometimes in these projects we can get caught up in making things look right, or I have students that want to make theirs look exactly like mine. That's not really the idea here. That's not what I'm asking you to do. I want you to express yourself or your own creativity. When you watch me do something, it's just me expressing my own creative ideas. So yours may be different and that's okay. The key is you wanna make sure you're kind of following directions and doing the right project so that you're learning something. I can't just say, take out a piece of paper and paint something because then I wouldn't really be teaching you anything. So follow along with the steps, but don't stress out about things looking perfect or exactly like mine. I want to read you the story of Miffy the artist. And Miffy the artist just kind of reminds me of what it means to be an artist. One day, Miffy went to a gallery. She enjoyed looking at all the works of art. She liked the different shapes she saw. Miffy and Mother Bunny looked at pictures together. Some pictures make things look different. Miffy had never seen a blue sun before. Miffy likes apples. She was very happy when she found a painting of one. It was bright red. On the way home, Miffy kept thinking of all the wonderful pieces of art she had seen. At home, Miffy found some crayons. They were green, yellow, red, and blue. Then she found some paper and made a picture. First, she drew some circles, yellow for the sun, green for a tree, and blue, what a surprise, for buttons. Then she drew squares and triangles. They looked just like her toy building blocks. Next, Miffy made a yellow picture, and that made her feel happy. Then Miffy drew a picture in blue. It made her think of a cold, cold day. At the end of the day, Miffy put all her pictures up on the wall. That looks wonderful, Miffy, said Mother Bunny. It's your very own gallery. Miffy tidied away her crayons and paper. Tired but happy, she knew she was a real artist. When Miffy went to bed that night, she did not need a bedtime story. She was already thinking of all the pictures she would make tomorrow. Good night, Miffy. So in this story, Miffy becomes an artist, and she doesn't do that by having some magical transition. Here's how she does it. She goes to a gallery, she sees pictures, she gets inspiration. She sees things that she hadn't seen before, like a blue sun. That gives her the excitement to create something of her own. We call that inspiration or being inspired. She goes home. What does she do with that inspiration? She uses it to create something. So she makes art. That's an important part of being an artist. Get inspired, make art, and then what does she do at the end? She displays it proudly for people to see, making her own gallery. This is how we become artists. This is what it's really all about, is celebrating your own creativity and being proud of what you do. So I can't wait to see what you've come up with today. Take a picture when you're finished and submit it so that I can celebrate your creations with you. Let's get started. All right, so for today, we're going to be gathering the flowers that we made and finishing up the Andy Warhol Pop Art Project. 
So we made these flowers out of colored pieces of construction paper and I told you that you could use different colors if you needed to but the ones that I used mostly were yellow, orange, red, and blue. So today you're going to be digging into your stash of construction paper. Now you may be getting towards the end of this stash of construction paper where you're running out of full size pieces but see if you can find a good full size piece. Doesn't matter what color it is. Um, whatever color it is though you want to beware of something right off the bat. You're going to be drawing some grass lines on here and they're going to be big, but you're going to be using a similar color to what this is. So if it's, you know, yellow, you could use, well, never mind. I wouldn't use yellow. I wouldn't use orange. I wouldn't use blue and I wouldn't use red because those are my flower colors. So let me rephrase that. If it's green, you'd want like a green crayon. If you are using, if this is a purple piece of paper, you'd want like a purple or a pink or a red or a blue or something that, you know, goes with purple well. So this part is kind of easy. All you're doing is drawing big long lines that go off the edges. So like maybe starting here, we're gonna do this. This is to simulate or to imitate, to look like the background of the Andy Warhol print that we've been looking at. So they go right off the edge. So what does that mean to you? It means that it's probably a good idea to have something underneath this to catch all the extra crayon marks. But you really fill this up pretty good. And they can go in all directions. So when you got it filled up pretty good, then you can start laying out your flowers on it. For a Warhol, we want like four, like this, where it's one, two, three, four in all the corners. Now, these could be in any order you want. These, you know, this could be switched, this could be over here, this could be over there. It really doesn't matter to me. It's more about what you think looks good. So get them configured where you think they look good or where you want them to be. And then you're just gonna glue them on. That part's pretty simple. Get yourself some glue. Simple Elmer's glue works great. Glue sticks work good too. And you just put a little bit of glue going around. Make sure you get some glue on every flower petal. That way they all stay down. You always get close to the edge, but you never glue all the way to an edge. And when you stick something on a piece of paper, you hold it and you count to about 20. Then you let your hands up and should go. Just make sure you're putting the glue on the side that's blank, not the side that has that black marks on it. If you accidentally put glue on the wrong side, you can always just redraw those black lines on the other side later. So after you've completed that and you've held all these down for a good 20 seconds or so, making sure that they really stay on there good, then you can take a picture and submit, because that is it for the Andy Warhol Pop Art Project. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.